we're back in Clash of Clans with another tier list video ranking all of the troops in the game from Barbarians all the way until the final troop you get in Clash. Let's get into it. Before I get into any of these rankings, guys, make sure you sub the channel and ring the bell for daily Clash videos and just fun times here on my mobile gaming channel. Let's start out with the Barbarian. I have max level troops across the board, by the way, just so you know. So I've got a good feel of them from all the way from the beginning stages to how they are at max level. We're ranking these troops based on what strategies they're used for and how well those are working right now in the 2020 meta. I'll probably redo this type of a video every six months as the metas change. But Barbarians right now are super solid for farming at lower Town Hall levels. All the way up to say Town Hall 9, you could really use Barch, Barbarians and Archers to farm bases, drop trophies, but grab a ton of loot. So because Barbarians are an essential troop for farming, they have to get an A. As I sit here and look at all these troops, all of them with the flames, I have to say, there are very few troops in this game that have no purpose. Clash of Clans is a really good job making sure that every troop has its place in the game. So this is going to be a pretty cool tier list with a lot of high level cards. Second up is going to be the Archer, and just like the Barbarian, she is essential and part of all of those Barch attack strategies. She's also used to clean up some stuff in higher level strategies as well. So I'm going to stick with the A rating for the Archer because she just complements the Barbarian. They're just a perfect team. Moving on to the Giants. The Giant is a troop that's used really often at lower Town Hall levels, and depending on the meta, is often used at higher levels as well. But since the introduction of the Yeti and even with the P.E.K.K.A.s now being in the meta, we're seeing a lot less of the Giants. So at lower Town Hall levels, they're a lot more valuable when you're trying to get the tanks into the base with the Barbs, the Archers, the Wizards behind. But at higher levels, the Giant is just not used as much these days. Not saying he's a bad troop, just not as popular in the current meta. So because of that, I'm giving the Giant a B. Guys, I want to remind you that all of my rankings are ranking the troops based on how they lie, how they sit in the current meta. So we just talked about those giants. I don't want you to think that I am hating on the giants. I think they're a great troop, but they're just not as viable today in this meta. Doesn't mean they're worthless. Doesn't mean they have no value. Just means they got that B rating because they're just not used as much at the higher town hall levels. But we're talking about the goblins now. And again, the goblins, a great farming troop. This is a troop that's used so often, kind of like Barch, the barbarians and the archers. Goblin knife is used often at lower town hall levels all the way through town hall nine. I'm going to stick with the goblin for farming strategies, but not only that, also can be used to clean up some bases at higher end levels for that fast cleanup of structures that hold resources. We're going to give the goblin a B. Wall breakers seem to have come back into the meta now that we have different siege units at higher level clash of clans. People are choosing to not just bring the wall wrecker and open up the wall, but they will bring something else, which means we need to open wall. Not only earthquake spells, not only jump spells, but people are using wall breakers again. It's essential in most strategies now across all levels of clash of clans. Is it a top tier S troop? No, but it's pretty close. I'm giving him an A. We can use balloons from as soon as you get them until Clash of Clans endgame is reached. Now, Lalo may not be the most popular strategy in Clash of Clans right now at Town Hall 13, but it is still extremely viable. One of the strongest strategies in the game. Without that strategy, you won't have balloons. Without balloons, you won't have the strategy. Balloons, they need to get an S. Wizards are there for funneling. They funnel down bases. They clean up bases. A very good troop that can be used in very different situations. Plus, we get a bunch of them out of the Siege Barracks as well when you are utilizing the Siege Barracks at Town Halls 10 through Town Hall 13. Gotta love the Wizards, guys. They do a great job. They're a little squishy, but you put a tank in front and they are pretty darn powerful. We gotta give the Wizards an A. Well, the healer. Alone, she is worthless, but throw her on top of a queen and you have the probably best way to start out in many different strategies. You could do queen walk, you could heal your giants, you could do a warden walk. Healers are essential to success with attacks. I feel like, especially at the higher end, guys, healers are so important for all these different smash attack strategies. Without her, they don't happen. Without the healer, there's no queen walk. The healer gets an S. Dragons, once you initially get them in the game, you are suddenly a powerhouse. You feel like you have conquered the game. 
and if you run into one in a clan castle, you are very concerned. That's at the lower level of things. Up at the higher level of Clash of Clans right now, dragons are not really meta. You can do drag freeze attacks, you can do drag bat attacks at Town Halls 11 and 12, but 13, the dragons are really struggling. They just don't seem to be so strong in the meta right now. I love the dragons, don't get me wrong, but in the current meta, all I can give them is a B. The P.E.K.K.A. She's beastly. She's strong. She's weak against single target Inferno Towers, but a lot of strategies now enable her to just dominate through a base. Talking about a lot of these smash strategies, including some Yeti or just the P.E.K.K.A. themselves. She's super strong in the meta. We got to go ahead and give her an S. The baby dragon, I feel, was a stronger troop, I don't know, a year ago when we used to see mass baby dragon attacks with a queen charge or when they were used for funneling all the time. But they've really taken a back seat and we're not seeing as much baby dragons. For the camp space, I feel like people these days are bringing a lot more wizards rather than bring the baby dragons. I love the baby dragons, but I don't really see them being used much, really at all. Because of this, they're going to get the lowest rating so far, which I hope comes up in time because I love the baby dragon. But we got to give her or him a C. Miners, hybrid. Miners hogs together, OP. It's one of the strongest strategies inside of the game right now. Miners are the best way to farm bases from Town Halls 10 through Town Hall 13. It causes zero dark elixir to get the troops, and it kind of just dominates bases even in war strategies like the hybrid which is hogs and miners i gotta give the miners an s they've been a personal favorite of mine and they are so viable in the meta right now from once you can get them until the end game s for the miners electro dragons some people still attack with electro dragons mass electro dragons or electro dragon loon we can also use them in a battle blimp and do the electron elect attack strategy where it's the electro dragon a few balloons clone spell on top and you have that electro bomb in the base although people are now doing yeti bombs instead electro dragons were a lot more popular when they came out about a year ago and they really are viable but mostly you'll see them being used for funneling. People will put one on this side and one on this side and then everything goes up the gut. So they are a good troop. They are not super popular right now. And for that reason, they get a B. The Yeti, you can only use them at Town Hall 12 and Town Hall 13, but at those levels they are used and they are used well. Yeti Smash, one of the strongest strategies right now inside of Clash of Clans. A really unique troop because not only is it a tank, not only does it strike anything, but also the Yetamite will hop out of its backpack and or basket on his back and take out defenses, actually seek out defenses and take them down. It's actually a strategy that I'm currently using to push Legends League and it's called a Yeti Smash strategy. They're very versatile. They're even being used in the battle blimp with a Yeti bomb. Two of the Yeti, one Valkyrie, one Barbarian rage spell in a blimp taking down a town hall you could snipe them out i actually put a video out which my editor can show you right here it's basically never one star again in clash of clans using the yeti bomb the yeti are so versatile they are so meta right now they deserve an s oh the minions lunion is a great strategy to farm you get the balloons in front the minions behind and i am crushing bases at town hall 8 and town hall 9 using lunion they cost dark elixir so if you're dark farming maybe it's not the best but it is still really good they're also an essential cleanup troop when you're using many different strategies because they are not targeted by ground defenses they really work well with lalo if you need some cleanup behind or even some power behind i like the minions i gotta give them an a hog riders some people this is their favorite troop the hog riders can be used at any town hall level from when you unlock them until the end game again right now at town hall 13 they are part of the hybrid strategy which is the miners and the hog riders together in unison with a queen walk one of the most powerful strategies today in this meta now that could change but right now hog riders are just essential they are so strong got to give them an s Oh, the Valkyries, how much I love them. But they are not used right now in Clash of Clans. There are very few strategies that utilize the Valkyrie. Probably the only place right now where you could find her being used regularly is inside of a battle blimp with two Yetis and that Barbarian in the Rage spell. That's really it. There was the Falcon Attack strategy, which was, you know, a queen walk into the Valkyrie charge into the base. That was Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10 strategy. But really, it is not in the meta right now. And they are a super strong troop. I really love them. But as far as the meta goes, they are basically non-existent. And I'm battling with this one between giving them a C 
or even a D, just because you never see the Valkyrie being used. But I'm going to go and I'm going to give the Valkyrie a C, because even though she's not meta, she is still so dominant. We're just waiting on someone to make that strategy that lets her shine again, because the troop is balanced. The troop is strong. The troop is great. She just needs to find a home. Let's give her a C. The Golem, the primary main tank inside of the game, although these days the Golem has some competition. Used to be the giant and the golem. Well, then we introduced the ice golem. Now we introduced the yeti. And suddenly the P.E.K.K.A. came back into the meta as well. Golem are really vulnerable to that single target inferno tower. So if you're doing an attack at higher level that uses a single target inferno, the golem is going to struggle big time, not get the value that it deserves. But if it's multi-target inferno towers, we're talking Town Hall 10+, plus, then you'll be okay. But the Golem are just not as popular as they used to be. They are kind of, I don't know, people may not feel that they're worth the camp space. You can put an Ice Golem in, which is about half the camp space, and you get that freeze effect when it goes down. I think right now, the Golem, although a strong tank, the strongest tank inside of the game, I think the highest I can give that Golem is a B. Oh, the Witch. The Witch will forever be dominant because of Witch Slap at Town Hall 9. If you're a Town Hall 9... You could just do Witch Slap and you could three-star bases pretty darn often to the point where people in their Town Hall 9 clans actually banned Witches because they think they're too strong and it's too easy to do that strategy. Now, I don't know if I agree with that or not. I honestly don't care what people decide to do in their own clans or their own leagues, but Witches are strong. At higher level Clash of Clans, they are not quite as strong. People are still using Bowler Witch Attack strategies, the Bow Witch Attack. But it's definitely taking a backseat to some other strategies at the higher Town Hall levels. But Witches completely dominate Town Hall 9 and probably Town Hall 10 as well. And we can't deny it. They're just so good. If you want three stars at Town Hall 9, you use Witches. We got to give them an S for that reason alone, even though they're not a big part of the meta at higher levels. Lava Hounds. Of course they're going to get an S. And the reason is, without the Lava Hounds, you can't Lalo. And without Lalo, you will never be a true Clasher. Because Lalo is, or Lava Loon, if that's what you like to call it, is one of the strongest strategies of all time in Clash of Clans. Now, it may not be the best, most meta strategy right now, but it is still one of the best strategies. It's just not meta right now. And if you don't know what meta means, it means what's hot, what's working best right now. Now, someone that practices and that utilizes Lalo can dominate bases from Town Hall 9 through Town Hall 13 if they take the time and execute the strategy, learn it, and become a pro with Lalo. Lava Hounds are awesome. They're the tanks of the sky. The Lava Pups are always used in defensive clan castles to slow down the enemy queen, at least at the competitive level. Lava Hounds, again, have to get an S just because of that. Without them, so many strategies wouldn't even exist. The Bowlers, again, like those witches, are banned in so many different Town Hall 9 clans. They're being used at Town Hall 13, Town Hall 12, Town Hall 11. They are a very strong troop. They get that bowler bounce. They roll and it, it bounces into something else. You can get two tiers of defenses, but they're not quite as meta as they used to be. And in these clans where they can't put bowlers in the clan castle to attack with Town Hall 9, people are putting Valkyries instead or Hog Riders. So although the bowlers are awesome troops they are really very good they are not essential in a lot of these strategies so instead of giving them an s we're going to drop them down one tier and give them an a and the last troop available to review right here in clash of clans is the ice golem coming straight over from clash royale a while ago it's it's been a while now the ice golem came and uh, they basically were a back seat to the golem until people figured out how to use them and with them being so inexpensive only taking up 15 housing space you can fit more of these tanks in than you could of the golem plus you get that freeze ability when they are down when they die not only that though they're being used in defensive clan castles to slow down kill squads of troops because once they die it freezes everything gives your defenses more time to pick away at those troops and if you put three of them in a clan castle all of your kill squad or your queen walk or whatever's going into the base will freeze three times it's a dominant troop. It's not 100% the meta right now, but it is really, uh, it's a pretty solid one. And this one will be between a B and an A. I'm going to go ahead and give it an A because it is definitely used more than the Golem. So that is the tier list for today. And you can see some of the troops that I'm using in my current army right now. One goblin for cleanup, one balloon to make sure that there's no air bombs or air mines on my queen charge. 
couple of wizards for funneling. We have the healers for the queen walk. We have 10 yeti and we have the four minions. This is a yeti smash style attack strategy and it is very strong now at Town Hall 12. Guys, let me know what you're using down below and don't forget to use code ECHO when you are purchasing your season pass or gems in the game. It directly supports me and keeps this whole YouTube dream job alive for me. So thank you guys so much for all your support. Hope you guys enjoyed this tier list and let me know if you want me to do another one of either Builder's Hall Troops of spells or even of the heroes gotta let me know what you want to see and i will make videos on it i promise you that but we're out of here for today guys check out this video before you go and remember to come back later on for another one or live stream or something fun take care guys and be good